back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Glad you could attend the Final Cut today. And man, have we got a wild one for you in the form of John Dies at the End. Yes, a movie based off of a book of the same name. And it's brought to us by the director uh, who brought us Phantasm as well as Bubba Hotep. All right. And we get the story of uh, this, this drug soy sauce has hit the town. And it allows people not only to get out of body experiences, but also to traverse through time and other dimensions. All right. Well, when our reluctant college dropout heroes John and Dave end up taking the soy sauce, they learn of the plot for an invasion into our world from another dimension, and they take it upon themselves to try to save the world. Now, will they do it? Well, uh, you're gonna have to watch the movie to find out. Now, this film, folks. Oh, wow. How do you how do you categorize this film? It's definitely in a category all of its own, much like the book, which has some many many wild fans out there uh this this film is just <laughs> just one crazy ride i mean to best sum it up it's a highly original completely unpredictable and fun ride that you have to watch to the very end pay attention and probably watch twice in order to fully appreciate everything that's going on in this movie it's like george romero stephen king and kafka got into a room together and decided to write an alien invasion movie of sorts Though it's not really aliens, though it... Yeah, we're not even going there. There's some wild things you get get to see in here. There's the bratwurst phone. There's a monster, which I guarantee you, you have not seen before. And some other things that just are zany. Um, there's a lot of comedy in this. There's horror elements. There's comedy elements in it. There's some sci-fi elements. This thing is an amalgamation of many genres. It's like this gigantic complex riddle to where at the end you'll get some answers, but the other ones that are dead dangling out there will leave you room for discussion with your friends after you watched it uh, the second time because I definitely highly recommend this movie it gives a couple of viewings for you to catch everything going on it's visually stunning the effects are great the soundtrack fits well and these performances I mean you got Chase Williamson and Rob Mays in here and they do brilliantly as Dave and John and their characters now I have not read the book I apologize but I love their performances in this film and they seemed really into this film film and really into their parts and really do well. I love their performances. And then you got the the very fun to watch Paul Giamatti in this who also helped produce this film uh, the best they could. I read in an interview that he said some fans may be disappointed in what they left out, but he, he goes, you know, whatever they left out is going to be sad, uh, but they had to leave some things out for the purpose of the storytelling visually because you do get differences between the visual media and the book media and uh, man, but what they do bring you and John dies at the end is definitely stuff you haven't seen before and you will be entertained. Uh, I never once was I completely confused though at the very beginning you know there may be some confusion but as I said before things do come around. Any fan of independent cinema, someone looking for something original or if you're just looking for a wild time should see. I gave this four stubs in my book. John dies at the end is a refreshing change from the normal schlock we get from Hollywood and it's definitely going to whet your appetite to go to the bookstore and read about all the bits that they couldn't put in the film. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.